Tally and I am super excited because you guys know that a lot has been going on in my life lately and I finally got around to sewing some project bags and I'm so excited because I did a lot of project bags you guys and I'm super excited because I'm going to put them up on my website for sale actually when this video is live they are there and I'll talk about all that in a minute but I wanted to show you the bags I made so if you're not into project bags then this isn't the video for you but if you're not into project bags you're probably not a crocheter or a knitter anyways because we love project bags <laughs> anyways and my dad actually this quick rabbit trail my dad actually came in while I was sewing so and he's like what you making because I literally have fabric everywhere just stacks of stuff going on because I was doing I'm doing it like in bulk so step by step and I started making project bags and he looked at me bewildered because he has no idea about that and I said okay so see you take the bag and you put all the yarn for the project the pattern for the project your stitch markers little scissors if you want uh, the pattern itself everything you need put it in one bag and then when you're going somewhere you can grab multiple bags to take with you and everything you need for each one of those projects should be on the inside of that bag and he was like that makes sense <laughs> like totally that but anyways so that was my dad's contrib contribution to this episode anyways guys so i want to show you first i want to show you i finally got around to finishing which means adding the cords that i had chosen for these bags to the three bags i made when i was up at al's a couple months back so they will be up for sale there is a this bag which is this stunning um kind of like stained glass window i love this and all three of these bags have the same interior which is like uh gray arrows because that's what Al picked and that's what she wanted. So she got what she wanted. But there's this one. These are roughly um, 14 inches by 14 inches. They are my large bag. Because I like a nice big bag I could do some stuff with. So 14 by 14 is roughly. Those are the approximate measurements of the bag. They do have a box bottom. So if you fill them, you can sit them. And you can roll the tops down. So that's that one. This one, if you guys watched that video, you'll remember I said at first I didn't like it and then it grew on me. Look at this. It's like so cute. I love it. It's like this really, again, with the arrows on the inside. Again, it is about 14 by 14. And then this one that was one of Al's favorites. Look, you guys, all the crazy kitty cats. Look at all the crazy cats, you guys. So cute. I love it. Again, arrows on the inside of this one. Again, it's roughly 14 by 14. So those three I made with Al a while ago, and I just got around to finishing them, putting in things. And then all the bags I'm going to show you now, I literally made in, oops, I tilt my glasses, there, in the last three days, because I did it all in like a process. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you a bag, and each, I'll tell you like what quantities I have of everyone. Those bags, I have just those ones. That's it. One of each of those, that's it. And then, you guys, the way I'm going to make project bags is, is when I find a cute fabric, I'm going to buy it, I'm going to make however many bags I can, and that is it. I'm not going to like stock fabric for everybody to order nope that's what i got it's on the website that's it so first one i want to show you is this adorable panda look at this you guys is it focusing yes i think it is okay super cute it's like little mommy panda and some sleeping pandas pandas they're so cute and then the inside is just this really cool black and white polka dot but it's kind of like i don't know if that's going to pick up on camera Let's see. Get it to focus. It's kind of got like a denim y look to it, but it is not denim. Uh, and these are all closed with paracord because I found some paracord and I loved it. It like worked perfect for the bags. So, this is my big size bag. Again, it is approximately 14 by 14. These big old bags, right? And then I out of most fabrics will also have a little bag well this is what I'm calling my medium size because I do make a smaller but so I will have large bags are 14 by 14 and the medium bags are 12 or I'm sorry 11 by 11 because they were 12 by 12 before I sold them so then you know you take off about an inch so approximately but they are the same same little panda and the same polka dot interior so I have up on the website unless they've already been bought <laughs> sorry guys uh two of these large pandas and one of these teeny tiny or the medium pandas so those are in there and we should probably talk price really quick to let you guys know 
how much stuff is and you know because i hate when people don't do that they show and they tell you to go to the website i mean please go to the website and check it out you guys but the price is so my large bags are 25 dollars and my medium bags will be 20. so that's that so you that way you can know so they got the pandas and then i couldn't help it little great pandas look at this you guys aren't these adorable so cute and on the inside of this is just another polka dot but a gray just a gray polka dot that's all that's on the inside of that one i again have two of these larger bags and one small bag now this bag i'm going to show you is the only exception to the rule of two large and one small and it is pete the cat <laughs> isn't this funny you guys it's pete the cat I was at the fabric store and they had just this little scrap of Pete the Cat on clearance. And I was like, okay, I have to get that. That's hilarious. And it has this adorable, like, blue and orange and white little checkered, or I'm sorry, triangles on the inside. Um, it just wasn't enough to make the same amount as I normally do. So I have three of the medium sized bags in Pete the Cat. Sorry if you heard that noise. That was my husband. Everybody look at him. He's over there. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. He has something in his throat, so he keeps coughing. We, we love Mr. Pineapple, so that's okay. This bag, you guys, I might have to keep one of these. We shall see. We shall see, because I'm so in love with so many of these bags. Okay, look. This one, look, it's all of these different countries. There's like Canada, America, Australia, Russia, China, uh, Europe. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Peru. That's what I... It's just a bunch and each one has like a little animal with it so cute is it focusing on it it is but look at all these like it's just adorable just adorable and on the inside is a gray chevron i love this bag so much so i have two large and one medium size of the <coughs> i guess countries bag because it's all these different countries i love it okay now this bag i was in love with this fabric so much when i saw it online i had to buy it like right away i'm getting messages and I am willing to bet you they're for mail. Because nobody else writes me. They're totally for mail. So I'm going to sit on that so we can't like hear it. <laughs> so, Al, I'll write you back in a second. Anyways, I fell in love with it. And then I made the bag. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep one though. Because you'll see. It's white, you guys. <laughs> but look at this. It's got these octopus and these little mermaid kitties. And there's whales and little jellyfish and turtles and it's so cute. I want to keep it, but then I'm like, I live in a camper. I live in a camper guys. <laughs> like, I'm looking out my window because it's been raining all day and it's nothing but a mud hole. Probably not the best place for this little guy. But on the inside is this beautiful, like pink, kind of flower squiggly pattern. I thought it kind of reminded me of the octopus, so I liked that a lot. Let it focus on me, y'all. So again, I have two big and a medium of that. And obviously, it's first come, first serve, y'all. So if you get to the website, there's none of that. Somebody really liked it and bought them. <laughs> but um, this one, I bought this fabric forever ago. I'm so in love with this. Look at this. It's like this beautiful, rosy pattern. Like, let's see. There we go. Pretty little roses. But the fun comes when you flip it inside out and it's this bright green with white polka dots. And I just thought like when you roll this down, you put your yarn in it and you roll it down and set it on the table. How cute would that be? I fell in love with it. I thought it was too cute. So again, two of the large and one of the medium. This fabric I bought when I was up in Charlotte at the, what was it? The red, the red barn or the red root? I do not remember, but I'm going to figure it out, you guys, because it was an amazing fabric store, and I'm totally going back. And I know somebody was in love with this fabric, so I hope you were watching. It's my little fox bag, you guys. Look at the cute little foxes. Aren't they adorable? And then on the inside, I got this beautiful orange kind of floral. I thought it was so folly. I loved it. Look at that. Rolled down again. How cute is that? Love it. Okay. Too large. And a medium of that now this bag seriously one of these might stay with me y'all because look at this look, look you guys can't even see it can you because like the light's getting blown out all of a sudden but look it's eggs and bacon oh my goodness okay i can't tell 
what I'm showing you. Look at this one where he's lifting the egg up onto his shoulders. That one's funny, but then look at these like Canadian ones. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's got like maple syrup and a mustache and they're holding like a maple leaf. It was so cute. And on the inside, it's just some beautiful yellow and white checkered. I love this bag so much. So, 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 so much. It's so funny, but okay. Too large and a medium of that one too. And this one, you guys, okay. I'm down to the last two patterns or the last two bags I have. And this one, you guys are gonna know why I love it, of course, as soon as you see it. <laughs> the pink flamingos. Oh, look at how pretty, the, they're all different colors, light and dark pink. And on the inside of this is just a beautiful pink chevron. I love this so much. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. So I have two large and a medium of the pretty pink flamingos that I kind of want. And then my last bag that I might have to keep one because there's a tiny child in my house that insists upon it. This is amazing plaid Mickey that I got at Hobby Lobby. Isn't that just stunning? And on the inside, red Mickeys. Love it with a little yellow because Mickey. It's so cute. This one I love. The fabric is so soft. If you hear any beeping, my kids got cameras recently at the Goodwill and they just won't stop playing with them when I'm filming. <laughs> but that's the joy of living in a camper, you guys. So I have two large and a small at least for now, or a medium, at least until one of my kids insists I keep that. Because as you guys know, Squish loves Mickey. So I'm so excited. I finally got around to making bags. I hope you guys love them. I like am learning so much by making them. I really enjoy it. I think I'm going to keep making them. I do hope you guys like these and want to purchase them. Um, it's just, it's just helpful right now at, our, at this time in our life. And if you don't know what's going on with us, there's other stuff but it's always I'm always looking for ways to diversify and make other things and the bags are a perfect way to do that so I hope you guys love them uh head over to the website it is linked right down below and grab them oh and I almost forgot to tell you the first 10 people to use a code that I'm going to put here on the screen right here if I can't think of it right now but I'll put it right here First 10 people to use that code will get 10% off the bags to celebrate my first time ever making bags. So I'm super excited, you guys. Um, I can't think of a code, can you, honey? No. Useless. <laughs> bags 10. <laughs> bags 10. First 10 people to use Bags 10, B-A-G-S 10, will get 10% off on my website for those, okay? Super excited, you guys. All right, I'm going to get out of here, and I shall see you guys soon.